Let's dive in now. Isabel Sanford was a celebrated American actress who left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. At the time of her passing in 2004 at the age of 86, Sanford's net worth stood at an impressive $3 million. Best known for her iconic portrayal in The Jeffersons, she graced the screen in 26 episodes of the groundbreaking television series All in the Family, which aired from 1971 to 1979. In the role of Mrs. Jefferson, Isabel Sanford embodied strength, intelligence, and elegance, serving as the perfect counterpart to her on-screen husband, George Jefferson. Her character's demeanor, coupled with her sharp wit and keen intellect, captivated audiences across the nation. Physically, Mrs. Jefferson was the epitome of sophistication, often adorned in impeccably styled attire that reflected her refined taste and class. Whether she was stepping out for a night on the town or relaxing at home, her wardrobe exuded confidence and grace beyond her appearance. Mrs. Jefferson's quick comebacks and clever banter with her husband showcased her sharp mind and sense of humor. Her character was not one to be underestimated, effortlessly holding her own in any conversation and demonstrating a depth of wit that endeared her to viewers. Personality-wise, Mrs. Jefferson radiated warmth and compassion, demonstrating a nurturing side in her interactions with family and friends. Her fierce loyalty and willingness to speak her mind added to her formidable presence, making her a beloved and respected figure in any situation. In addition to her role on All in the Family, Sanford reprised her role as Mrs. Jefferson in 253 episodes of the spin-off series The Jeffersons, which aired from 1975 to 1985. Louise Jefferson, the epitome of strength, intelligence, and grace, captivated audiences with her portrayal of a loving wife and devoted mother. Next to her husband, George Jefferson, Louise was a shining example of wisdom and compassion, overcoming the complexities of family life with resilience and determination. Despite the social challenges of the time, Louise remained steadfast in her principles, always supporting her loved ones and serving as a moral compass to those around her. Her character exuded warmth and empathy, endearing her to viewers for her relatable struggles and triumphs. In addition to her television roles, Isabel Sanford's talents also extended to the silver screen, with notable appearances in popular films such as Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, Lady Sings the Blues, and Love at First Bite. Through these diverse performances, Sanford solidified her position as a pioneer in the entertainment industry. Eloise Gwendolyn Sanford, later known as Isabel Sanford, entered the world on August 29, 1917, in the vibrant neighborhood of Harlem, New York City. Born to Josephine and James Edward Sanford, she was the youngest of seven children, the sole survivor of infancy. Raised in a devoutly religious household, Isabel's mother, Josephine, insisted on regular church attendance, instilling strong values in her daughter from a young age. Despite her mother's reservations about show business, Isabel harbored dreams of becoming an actress. She began pursuing her passion as a teenager, performing at local clubs and participating in amateur nights at the Apollo Theater, defying her mother's wishes. After graduating from high school, she joined the American Negro Theater of Harlem and the Star Players, setting the stage for her future career. In a bold move in 1960, Isabel withdrew funds from her retirement savings, packed up her children, and left her husband behind in New York, embarking on a journey to Los Angeles. Shortly after her arrival, she caught the attention of actress Tallulah Bankhead, who invited her to join the national production of Here Today. This opportunity opened doors for Isabel, paving the way for her Broadway debut in James Baldwin's acclaimed play The Amen Corner in 1965. Isabel Sanford's journey to stardom began with a pivotal role in the 1967 film Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, where she portrayed the character Tilly Binks. Credited as Isabel Sanford, despite limited screen time, her performance garnered attention and received praise from critics, laying the groundwork for her remarkable career in Hollywood. Her talent caught the eye of industry heavyweights including Norman Lear, who cast Sanford in the groundbreaking sitcom All in the Family, as Louise Jefferson alongside Sherman Hemsley. The duo's chemistry was so palpable that Lear decided to give their characters their own spin-off series, The Jeffersons, which premiered in January 1975 to instant acclaim, captivating audiences for 11 seasons. Sanford's portrayal of Louise Jefferson earned her widespread recognition and numerous accolades, including five Golden Globe Award nominations and seven Primetime Emmy Award nominations. In 1981, she made history by becoming the first African-American actress to win the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series, a milestone achievement that solidified her place in television history. Following the conclusion of The Jeffersons in 1985, Sanford continued to grace screens with a presence, making guest appearances in various television shows and films. In 1987, she starred in her own sitcom, Isabel's Honeymoon Hotel, aimed at showcasing her comedic talents, although the series failed to find an audience and was short-lived. Throughout the 1990s, Sanford remained active in the entertainment industry, making memorable appearances on popular television shows such as Dream On, Living Single, and The Steve Harvey Show, among others. She also ventured into film, appearing in the action-packed Original Gangsters, alongside notable blaxploitation film stars. In addition to her on-screen work, 
Sanford reprised a role as Louise Jefferson in the stage production, The Real Live Jeffersons, in the mid-1990s, delighting audiences once again with her timeless performance alongside Sherman Hemsley. Sanford's impact extended beyond the realm of television and film, as evidenced by her induction into the Hollywood Walk of Fame in January 2004, recognizing her significant contributions to the industry. Even in her final television appearance as an animated version of herself in The Simpsons episode Millhouse Doesn't Live Here Anymore, Sanford's presence continued to resonate with audiences, cementing her status as a beloved icon in entertainment history. Her legacy lives on, inspiring future generations of performers to reach for the stars. Isabel Sanford's journey through life was a mix of ups and downs, both in her personal life and career. In 1945, she tied the knot with William Edward, Sonny Richmond, who worked as a house painter. Together, they were blessed with three children two sons named Sanford K. Richmond and Eric Richmond, and a daughter named Pamela Richmond Ruff. However, their marriage faced rough patches, and by 1960, Sanford and Richmond decided it was best to part ways. It was undoubtedly a difficult decision for them. After the separation, Sanford showed remarkable strength by relocating with her children to Los Angeles, leaving behind their old life for a fresh start. Richmond remained in New York, and sadly, he passed away later that same year. It was a tough blow for Sanford and her children, but they persevered through the hardships, showing resilience in the face of adversity. In September 2003, Isabel Sanford underwent a medical procedure called preventative carotid artery surgery. This surgery was intended to help keep her healthy by preventing potential problems with her arteries. However, as time passed, Sanford's health started to decline. On July 4, 2004, things took a turn for the worse, and she had to go to Cedar sinai Medical Center for medical attention, where she stayed until the end. Five days later, on July 9, 2004, at the age of 86, Isabel Sanford passed away. Her publicist stated that her death was due to natural causes, though the exact causes remain unknown. In memory of her life and achievements, Sanford was buried at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Hollywood Hills, Los Angeles. It was a way for her loved ones and fans to pay their respects and remember all that she had accomplished during her life. Despite the challenges she faced in her personal life, Sanford's professional achievements remained a testament to her talent and perseverance. In recognition of her significant contributions to the television industry, Isabel Sanford was posthumously awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, located at 7080 Hollywood Boulevard. This honor serves as a lasting tribute to Sanford's legacy, ensuring that her impact on television and popular culture will continue to be celebrated for generations to come. My beloved audience, these aspects of her career and life speak volumes of her greatness. But she was not only a talented woman but also had an extremely kind heart. Isabel Sanford dedicated herself not only to her craft but also to helping others in need. Collaborating with fellow successful black women in the entertainment industry, she lent her support to charitable organizations. In 1973, Sanford took on the role of founder and corresponding secretary of the Kwanzaa Foundation. This foundation aimed to gather funds to assist underprivileged families, especially during the Christmas season. Over the years, the foundation's reach expanded, incorporating various programs focused on health and education. Sanford's commitment to education extended to offering scholarships to minority students at Emerson College in Boston. This prestigious institution specializes in training students for careers in the performing arts and communication-related fields. In 1985, Sanford had the honor of being the commencement speaker at Emerson, coinciding with the inaugural year of the scholarship she established, which aimed to provide opportunities for minority students to pursue their dreams in the performing arts. Even after her passing in 2004, Isabel Sanford's legacy of supporting education endured. The creation of the second Isabel Sanford Scholarship ensured that minority students could continue to benefit from opportunities at Emerson College, this time focusing on the campus in Los Angeles. From her philanthropic efforts, Sanford left a lasting impact on the lives of countless individuals, empowering them to pursue their passions and aspirations in the world. Thank you for watching this far. Share with your family and friends. On the comments section, tell us your fond memories of Sanford. Subscribe and click on the bell notification.